morning, this is the Eager Beaver Show. You are listening to a True North Eager Beaver Media Incorporated podcast. The True North Eager Beaver podcasts are proudly brought to you by our founding sponsors, The Misfee Mysteries from Corvid Moon Publishing, your source for science fiction, fantasy, and cozy mysteries featuring a broad diversity of characters. CanadianTarot.com, your uniquely Canadian online eclectic tarot community, and The Peppermaster, hot pepper sauces made from farm-fresh ingredients to thrill your taste buds and expand your mind. Well, good morning, and hello, kids, and welcome to Season 4 and Episode number 308 of the Daily Beaver Morning Show here on the Cryer Media Network. Yeah! Today, recording day, this evening, I should say, is Wednesday, June 19th for broadcast on Thursday, June 20th, 2024. I'm your host, the eager beaver pronouns he, him, he, Mr. Beaver A, and with me is my good friend, Mr. Grizzly. A big thank you goes to our podcast spending sponsors, The Peppermaster, The Miss V Mysteries from Corvid Moon Publishing, and CanadianTarot.com. We have a special episode for you because we have a guest today, but before we do anything else, Mr. Grizzly, how's your mental health doing today, sir? Well, sir, I would have to say that uh, all things considered... Uh, Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm a little tired. Excellent. This uh, I'm not going to lie. This this heat does sap your strength because it was yes. five, I think, today in Canada's capital. So yeah, you know. <laughs> yep. spend a little bit of time outside, but not too much. And each time I took Ms. Lola out, um, she'd be really excited. We get outside and within five minutes, her, her full of beans energy, you know what she's like, Yep, came down real quick. Ooh. And, and, and the, the first walk we were out for a little bit and I almost had to pick her up and carry her back. Cause she was kind of like, daddy, I'm not, this is, she was really slow. The Ooh. second walk, uh, we went out after the sun sort of set and, uh, it's still hot, but there's no sunshine. So it's not as bad. Right. Sure enough, walked around, there was water dishes everywhere. And I stopped at a patio where there was a big water dish. She goes, Oh, just a second, ran out and got some ice and put some ice in it. And sure enough, Lola drained the whole thing. And was feeling much better after that. So now she's lying on the floor under the air conditioner, just relaxed. <laughs> good, 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 good. Yeah, it was a hot day. I'm, um, I'm a Schwitzen under this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, no, no. I was, now, thankfully, I was in an air conditioned building all day. But when you're going, when you're moving about, yep, and walking the dog, it's, it's, yeah, it's hot. It, it's it hot. doesn't take much to get a to get no. to a little. Well, uh, poor Bridget, she came out for the dog walk, and I said, "Are you sure?" And we're out maybe ten minutes. She goes, "I, I have to go back in." And she was, the heat was really getting to her yeah. and I didn't realize she didn't have her keys. So I get back after fifth down another 10, oh, 15 minutes, I get oh. back and she's sitting in the lobby. I'm like, you didn't have your keys. Why didn't you tell me? I would have came right back. So that kind of took a toll on her. So she's yep. not feeling great. Right. And I think she's dehydrated to be honest with you. Yep. But, you know. Yep. It's easy. It's easy in this weather. Yes. All right, kids and cubs, we have a treat for you today uh, because on June 24th, there is a very big event uh, going on in Canada. It is called the Women's Strike. It's a national women's strike. I like this. And our guest today is um, the national co-lead of this event. So uh, we are very, very fortunate uh, to be able to get her tonight because uh, as we both know, we just planned a national event. And when you're less than a week away, um, time is at a premium. So um, 
she is making time for us and we are very happy. So without any further ado, because she does have a hard out uh, in a few minutes, please, kids and cubs, put your paws up and give a big round of applause to the co-national lead of Women's Strike Canada, Shauna Batty. Welcome to the Beaver Lodge. Hi, gentlemen. How still are you? To, still trying to work here in your camera here. I can't seem to get it operational from my end, so apologies in advance. Yes. That's okay. I can still talk. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's wonderful. How can um, I say no to Eager Beaver podcast? I mean, you know, clear my schedule for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank so you so very much. kind. That's very <laughs> kind. Um, Shauna, uh, I always ask Mr. Grizzly uh, when we start the show, how's your mental health doing today? And we also ask it of our guests. So how is your mental health doing today? Uh, well, thank you for asking. That's a that's a loaded question. Um, yes. <laughs> it it is. can be. It's very situational today. No, um, no. Overall, it's very very positive. We've we've put a tremendous amount of energy behind this, and mm. uh, my mental health around the the, the strike is excellent. And other personally, it's excellent as well. So. <laughs> oh, well, wonderful. We're glad to hear that. That's what we mm. want to hear. Excellent. Absolutely. Um. Shana, maybe you would like to tell our uh, audience what is uh, the women's strike? Sort of how did what is it and how did it come about? Okay, well, it's 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 a short, long story. Um, we're, right. only, we're only four and a half weeks into this, and of course, this coming Monday is is strike day across our great nation and the United States and several dozens of other countries around the world. Oh, nice. nice. Um, it started with one TikTok post from Danny uh, Goodman down in the United States, who's the founder. She thought she'd get a couple likes and she started an international revolution. Nice. Uh, and two weeks after, basically actually a week after they started, we started here in Canada to support them. Mm -hmm. uh, inadvertently, obviously to support ourselves. So right. um, yeah, again, it, it all happened on Facebook and TikTok. And that's how we've been able to amass the probably close to 10,000 women uh, across Canada, 32 plus cities. Nice. And we're 5.4 thousand followers on Facebook. So, yeah. You know, so as much as we slag on social media. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. And we all, we all have our faults with social media for the destruction of, you know, a lot of things, but every now and then. Use it. Yep. Use it for good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So at the risk of sounding naive, although I might have a couple of ideas, why is it that the women are striking on that day? Okay. Well, there, there's a couple layers here, but in response to Roe v. Wade being overturned uh, two years mm. ago, this come Monday, mm -hmm. um, and of course what's going on in that country, losing rights, uh, I'd say daily even. Um, so in response to that, of course, many people are like, well, we have rights in Canada, we're protected, et cetera. I'm like, so did they. Yes. Right. Um, and it's a slippery slope. So, and we tend to do a lot of uh, copycatting with what's going on down there. So it was time to basically assemble the troops and say, hey, we want to maintain our rights as women. We want agency over our bodies. That abortion women's rights are healthcare issues, not politics, not lawyers. Right. It's a healthcare issue. Period. Period. End of story. story. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, now, how, since it has its origins, um, when that decision came down two years ago, um, do you remember how it is that it hit you? No. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. It's sort of like you always remember where you were when Elvis Presley died. It was the same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you right. know? Mm -hmm. Like it just hit us between the eyes. It's like, what? It, it's a, it's a bit of disbelief initially. Mm -hmm. Right. It's so it was so profound. And so obviously what we perceive as ridiculous, but you know, again, a lot of people are like what's happening to them, not us, but I've never taken that stance because mm -hmm. I, was, I was like, if it can happen to them, it can happen to us. So, uh, once again, you know, laws and politics are very different across the border, but the issue remains the same. Women's women, we want to maintain advocacy over our own bodies. And, mm -hmm. and the reason why they use the word strike. So there's, there's two parts to this. Okay. Um, 
you know, some of the, some of the, the regulations around this is essentially, you know, don't walk off the job. Don't work. Mm -hmm. um, if you have to spend money, spend it on female women owned businesses only. Do mm -hmm. not spend money on Monday. Um, and so that is in part to also reflect what's going, what has been going on for many years in Iceland with the women marching. And I believe it was just last week, there's a hundred thousand women uh, at their rally and they do this every year and it's been happening for decades in response to the labor issues down there. So th there's a couple things folded into this. Obviously the women's issues with body autonomy, uh, sorry, autonomy. Mm -hmm. And then the, the basically like the, the gross inconsistencies in labor laws, wage gaps, etc. cetera, uh, you know, based on gender and uh, that needs to stop. Um, and that's definitely happening up here in Canada too. So, oh yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So those are the kind of the, the basics of, of why, you know, people are saying, well, why is it a strike? That, that is why it's a one day strike. Walk off the job. All right. You know, yeah, up here, we're saying to people, if you can't do that, please don't. <laughs> um, yeah. Don't put yourself in jeopardy, individual right? Individual choice. These are just guidelines. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I'm, I'm personally running the, the event in Vancouver, British Columbia. And, um, you know, we have our own bit of flavor here in Vancouver. Right. So there'll be lots of color, let's just say. Excellent. <laughs> uh, I won't give it away. You can find me in Vancouver next week. <laughs> love to hear it. Please send us photos. <laughs> yeah, there'll be lots of those going on. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm uh, looking up online what you mentioned about Iceland. It was in a... October of last year, the prime minister even got involved mm -hmm. when women across the island went on strike to push for an end to unequal pay and gender-based violence. Um, yes. So um, that was uh, kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. um, Iceland's been a, a, a... Oh, yes. A leader. A leader for decades. I mean, the very first uh, female woman... <laughs> Well, it's ranked as the world's most gender right? equal country 14 years in a row by the World Economic Forum. So well, there yes, you go. But I mean, the first uh, female president, woman president, was in like the 70s, mm -hmm. before Margaret Thatcher, before anybody else. And women in that country have oftentimes says, no, we're not, we're not putting up with your crap, basically. <laughs> it's, uh, they do well, it right in Iceland. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you know what? We could certainly take a page out of their book, couldn't we? Yes, we could. Um, for sure. I mean, you've got the 4B movement that was happening back in, I think, 2019 with in Korea, I believe it was. Um, these are responses. I mean, some are radical responses to patriarchy. End of right. the day. It's about patriarchy. And yeah. some people want to continue to have the battle of the sexes, and you'll never hear that from me. Um, right. It's not a man versus woman thing. This is us versus patriarchy. Yes, right. it is. Not, because we're, we're hung by patriarchy too, right? Yes. In, in patriarchy, patriarchal people come in all sizes and shapes. Yes, they do. And genders. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yep. That's absolutely so, true. Trying yep. to keep the record straight here. Yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, the other thing that uh, when you were talking about Iceland, they had actually had had a first walkout way back in 1975. Yeah. yeah. Right. 90% of women refused to work clean or look after their children that day to voice anger at discrimination in the workplace. And that led to, in 1976, Iceland passing a law guaranteeing equal rights irrespective of gender. So um, They've been on this for a long time. They've been on this for a while. So, But this is... Um, now, are, are... How would I put it? What are the ambitions of the walk? Is the walk seeking uh, a certain response from government? Is there will, there... will there be demands? There won't be demands. I mean, okay. we're not, to be fair, we're, we're, we're a Facebook group organized across Canada. Like there is no society form. There's no formalization to this. Even in the United States, I've had personal conversations with daddy. We, we've done a couple um, uh, videos together uh, in, in to unify the two countries and then, okay. you know, inviting other countries with us. Right. Right. So, um, yeah. So, you know, again, Canada is a large country. There's lots of personalities with 32 plus events. You're going to see some diversity. Right. And that's what our great country is about. Mm -hmm. Right. As well. I mean, you know, whether or not we agree wholeheartedly with a particular issue or not, 
the end of the day, we're raising awareness and you know, we're, we're, we're heading into elections and whatnot. And it's important. Mm -hmm. What yes. people decide to do after this, you know, I've been asked so many times, well, what happens June 25th? I'm like, can we have a day of rest? <laughs> it's gonna yes. Be yes. Like, you know, Celebrate um, your efforts, take a day of rest or two. Effort. And then, you know what? It's, it's going to take on its own personality. I think mm -hmm. I really do. Um, um, it depends there. There are, many many government officials aware involved being at the march so you know again though I, and i'm going to say this to state the record this is not about politics this is not about legal matters this is about healthcare. so i've invited doctors i've invited ob guides i've invited nurses practitioners pharmacists those are the ones that right. i want to talk to right and, right. and I'll, I'll be stating it very publicly on Monday that I'm voting for my ovaries. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I, was for the, I was waiting for that. <laughs> I'm voting for my ovaries. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, now, I think you said that there's something in 32 different cities in Canada, is it? Strikes. There's, we've got organized over 32 strikes across Canada. Wow. That's yep. fantastic. And this is just people that decided to come together and say, hey, this is a great idea. I'm doing this. Well, we, we started putting posts out and that. So it was a Saturday morning. I woke up to, again, another TikTok about the Canada strike. I'm like, what is this? I reached out to my co-lead and we spent the next two days in constant contact. Like, what are we doing? How are we going to do this? Um, I, I, I built uh, with my business partner a website in one day womenstrikecanada.ca where we filter yeah. through all kinds of stuff through that or through that place. Um, and you know, it, it takes time, effort and money. Um, we do have a small GoFundMe available because there's some hard costs associated with setting this up that, yes. um, we'd like to pay back the individuals, uh, efforts for that. Um, mm -hmm. so we, you know, in four and a half weeks, we've done some pretty amazing organization. And, and, and again, to, to sort of echo what I said before, what happens after this, we don't know. Not right. a clue. Uh, um, for the, the kids who happen to be listening at home, uh, if you want to support the GoFundMe, it's GoFundMe.com slash F slash Women's Strike Canada with the hyphen between each one of those words, Women's Strike Canada. And you can make your donation there. So uh, please, if you can support, if you can help, please do. It's very important. Um, thank you for that. You, Oh, no, my pleasure. Um, you mentioned uh, that this is uh, started sort of uh, as in sympathy to what was going on in the United States. And you have mentioned uh, that things are like one of the things that happened in Canada is that we're a little complacent, right? Because our Supreme Court is different. Yes. Uh, and uh, yeah. the way that we view abortion legally here more as a medical procedure rather than as a political thing that has, you know, it's regulated professionally by the medical professional and not by politicians. Let's put and it that's that where, way. That is where um, we wanted to stay. Yes, exactly. Because you don't want to stay. Because yes. you don't want to open the door with a wedge, right? Or or to create no. a, a basis from which we can start negotiating downwards. Right. Then there's appeals right. and there's like then there's all kinds of things when you get the legal matters involved. Exactly. And I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but we know enough about the law to know that it just really causes a lot more problems than necessary in this particular case. Yeah. So in Canada, um, a lot of people will tend to be a little complacent. Well, you know, that's an issue down there. It's not really an issue over here. We don't really have to worry. We're pretty solid. Uh, of we have a leader of the opposition who is saying, although Mr. Grizzly and I don't particularly believe it, that he will not touch abortion, um, <clears throat> only based on track record. Um, but is it difficult uh, to convince women and even, let's say, men who would want to march uh, with you to do that here because they don't feel the same sense of urgency? That's hard to gauge because, again, we're, we're only talking to people through Facebook mm -hmm. and TikTok and, to some degree, Instagram. So it, it's hard to gauge. I mean, the, the, the few that do step forward, 
I've had a couple personal messages basically saying, why are you bothering doing this? We mm -hmm. we're fine up here. Um, the, clearly the March isn't for that person. Right. Mm -hmm. We're not here to change people's minds or opinions. You know, those who wish to be part of this, who foresee um, it being worthwhile. And so complacency is, is, is part of the, like a huge problem with our, with our societies today. Right. And so I felt compelled. I mean, although I'm past my reproductive years, um, you know, my son, his girlfriend, like all of these young people, they're coming into this and they're marching mm -hmm. with us. 20 year olds, 21 year olds. They're mm -hmm. starting the, the founder in the United States is 28 years old. Nice. He wow. sees a problem yep. with, with it. I mean, yep. don't you? <laughs> like, yeah. But again, <clears throat> we can talk blue in the face, but I'm not here to try to convince somebody otherwise. I, I will, I, you know, we will lead and people will follow. And, and if, if they believe in it, 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 and so that's where we're at. See, I like that because that was sort of our vibe too. When we did the mental <laughs> health block, we're just yeah. going to sit down. We're just going to build it. And the people that it calls to will come. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and, then, and then you just have to conf be confident that there is an audience out there for it. There always will be. Oh yes. yeah. And there'll Agreed. be a counter audience to it. Right. Um, you know, come Monday, we don't really know what to expect across the country. Um, many, many groups are um, organized to strike uh, at city halls. If you mm -hmm. have a parliament, then that is the target, the, not the target, but that is the place that the event will be taking place. Right. We've also, it, you know, been very careful in our words saying this is a peaceful rally. Yes. Right? It's a peaceful rally. Mm -hmm. And we're coming together to support coming together to raise awareness and to say, Hey, we matter. And you're not going to get away with this any more. I, I like that. Uh, yeah. You know what? I like very much your clarity. The, uh, the only guest that we've had that I found that has been this clear and effective in the past is when we had um, the president of the Métis National Council, Cassidy Caron, when she joined? Yes. I guess that we were so impressed because um, at that moment she was getting ready to go see the Pope. And we no, were she had there. seen the Pope. She had, she had seen, seen the Pope. Pope. Yes. Was she? But she was yeah. going to again. Yes, she was going a second They were getting ready surprising. to go again. And it was a, like, a, 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 like a, getting ready for a big moment. It was like, you know, you're going in the room with like one of the most powerful men. And she, and she was like completely nonplussed about yeah. it because I am here for this purpose and I'm here to speak for these people and I don't care to whom it is. Mm -hmm. I'm here for a purpose. Uh, and she was not intimidated because she had such clarity and uh, I'm noticing this about the way that you speak, that you are so completely clear on the purpose. You don't need to convince anybody. You don't need, this doesn't need to be something that seeks to dominate anybody else. This doesn't need to be something that needs to push other people out of the way. You're just doing your thing, I guess. And you know that your people will find you because you are absolutely convinced about the righteousness of the cause. Couldn't have said it any better. <laughs> and I, I, I think it, I, I think it's fantastic. This is great. No wonder you're not. No wonder you're you're not having having you're not having trouble finding people to join because it's. How can you be against this? Like, well, I know that there's some people that are, but there, there, there are people I can't understand. Who, if I may interject, there are people who are trying to interlace other issues as well. You don't. You want as to avoid well. the noise. You want it, to keep it about what well, it's they about. Well, they want to pee back. Right. So, because, I mean, if you think about women's rights, advocacy over bodies is a yep. massive umbrella. Yes. And there's so many things that fall under that. So many things. And I'm not even going to mention them here. Right. I don't want to go down a rabbit hole. Yeah, no, no point in, in inserting noise. But at the end of the day, again, if this resonates with you, then we have a call to action. And if you can't strike, wear red, support, don't, don't spend money. The other thing is, is don't, you know, I, I may not have mentioned this, but 
the, the whole idea around the labor is, um, is not to do any labor. Don't cook, don't clean, don't vacuum, don't do anything. So again, right. lots of layers here, but it flows right back to the same issue of, of women's rights. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what do you have? I don't want to say an expectation, but do you have a, a hope for what this event will yield? Well, I certainly hope it is the stepping, the starting point of uh, yearly annual strikes. Um, okay. okay. This, I, I would hate to see this as a flash in the pan. Right. It's too important. Um, and, you know, a year from now, we're going to still be talking about this. <laughs> yes, it's only yes. a year. You know, unfortunately, things don't change that quickly. But, you know, when you spark or ignite a passion in people, in women, I can only speak of mainly women in this respect, it's like a tsunami's coming. Mm. So get ready. Now, it might be brewing underneath. Yep, yep, bubbling under. And, oh, yes. you know, we, we're looking at Iceland, we're looking at America, we're all looking towards each other and going, okay, wait a minute. So I, I really do believe there'll be definitely a ripple effect off of this. Again, exactly in what format, we're not sure, but it's kind of exciting at the same time. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I live in the space of the unknown. I love change. So I'm like, all right, let's see. Let's bring it on. Yep. Yep. I can see that. <laughs> yeah. um, now, uh, I understand like sometimes there are events um, that uh, that are organized where women and those who are female identifying want the event to be their space so it's their voice and people can hear the power of their voice. And then there are other events at times where uh, their brothers are welcome to add their voices to it. Is yes. this type of is this the type of an event uh, that if men want to go on strike on that day or join you on marches like this that they're invited as well, or is this where men you know you want us to stand back and support from the sidelines so that you can let your voice shine through? Uh, excellent question to, to one I just simply got off the phone with my son before talking to you. He's twenty. He wants to be at the march. Mm -hmm. So guess what, Mama Bear said? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> yes, I'm so, the only strike. We're the only strike in Canada that has on our event page all welcome with a red heart love like that we, yeah, my yeah. group of uh, eight of us uh, organizers whom i've ha haven't met any of them i'll meet them on monday we'll give big hair big bear hugs grizzly yep. bear hugs right paul grizzly oh, bear yes. hugs. yes and and it's going to be so powerful we have we have songs like if you need a reference point paris mm -hmm. paloma the song labor Okay. That has been viewed millions of times, gone viral. Paris is now like she's so popular. She's it's unbelievable what that song has done to this movement. It's just propelled us, and all you need to do is listen to it once. And well, I'm definitely gonna do that after the show. <laughs> yeah. um, and the the words, um, it is it, just absolutely uh it, it'll stop you from breathing for a moment, but um but that song ignited it and it's carrying I, I am it. sorry sorry to cut you off I'm, I'm looking at the lyrics now and wow all day every day mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> one two three why are you hanging on so tight to that rope that i'm hanging from that's how it starts yes all right and it just gets more powerful mm -hmm. than that. Oh, yeah, well, uh, I, yeah. As soon as as soon as we're done, I'm going to listen to that. <laughs> that sounds like it's up my alley. I do, I do, and and you can email me back or text me back how you feel, because um, the very first national meeting we had, which was I believe only three weeks ago, I can't believe it, all across the country, and I played that song as being intro to women coming in, and there wasn't one woman who hadn't heard it. Like we all know the lyrics, we all so our group in vancouver and many across the country are looking at um we're compiling playlists of very strong female lead songs that wrap around these messages i'm gonna um, direct you to so, my m-i-l-c-k pardon me yeah, may i direct you to m-i-l-c-k okay 
quiet. Put on your face, know your place, shut up and smile, don't spread your legs. That's the first opening line to that song. Okay. Who's that, that guy? Playlist. <laughs> well, uh, okay, this you song know, will floor you. The theme, but... It, it, it was uh, released in 2018 during the National Women's March in the U.S. Mm -hmm. when they marched on Washington. And she connected with a group of women who got together and did an a cappella choral version of it. And they showed it on um, Samantha Bee's program a couple of years ago. And she interviewed Milk and she interviewed the, the group of women who sang it with her. And it was just, it was unbelievable. Yeah. It really was. It's, it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's, and the video for it, if you watch the video for it, yeah, you're probably going to shed a tear. And That's I'll just okay. leave it at that. I'll just leave it at that. You're good at that. So the, so the song Quiet by Milk. M-I-L-C-K. Okay. Okay, Wonderful. thank you for that. You're very That's welcome. Great. I was a um, DJ for 44 years. <laughs> still spinning the vinyl, Paul? <laughs> Several thousand pieces, and yes, I still spin the vinyl. Yes. Yeah. Um, Shana. Um, so you got, you have a couple of days before the event goes live. Uh, what are the things that you have, uh, yet to do in order to make sure that, uh, all the polish is on it? it? You know, honestly, there's very little to do. Um, I've got a meeting right after this with my Vancouver group. We're just tying up any like on site, um, uh, you know, things that need to be managed, um, throughout the country, you know, some people are getting, um, security. Some people are getting speakers. It, it is mm -hmm. various across the country. So uh, again, a variety is golden. Um, you know, obviously time zones starting out to mm -hmm. as far as Switzerland and heading this direction is 12 noon across the whole country. So it'll be rolling out all day long. Nice. And, um, you know, obviously living on the coast here, we're, we're the last time zone. Um, right. Canada, so right. I will be following very closely live reels and everything going on. Um, you know, we know the media, look at yourselves. You, you're all picking us up. Like right, yeah. so we, you know, we all expect on-site media and whatnot. So, um, but you know, we're, we're, we're writing history right now. Like we've, we've just oh, never. Yes. So, you know, what's the blueprint of the, the playbook? We're writing it right now. It, it's, yep. it's yeah. And come Monday, we're going to, you know, add more material to that. To that so um and learn but I'm, I'm just so proud of the women across our country who've come together again it'll be, come monday it'll be what we'll five weeks and i'm like if we're able to do this in five weeks yep trust me we, yeah, we have we, some actual time yeah we understand yeah. it's a yeah. lot of it's a lot of work in a short time frame yes yeah. it is um Given how this has taken off, uh, you mentioned that there are some politicians that will be that have confirmed that they would be taking part. Mm -hmm. Have there been any, like for example, celebrities or people from the business world, entertainers, athletes, scientists, you know, that that have some reach that have decided to uh, lend their name to this? Uh, off the top of my head, again, because every city, every event has their own sort of organization. Mm -hmm. and they're running it then that's up to them how and who they invite right mm -hmm. um you know in vancouver i can only speak to vancouver per se um uh you know we've reached out to all kinds of organizations um across the board medical um again we we invited government but they're mm -hmm. on the sidelines yeah. yeah so but celebrities and whatnot again some people are, are choosing to keep their speakers quiet. So we'll find out on Monday. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Interesting. We love an Very element of surprise, don't we? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Why not? <laughs> oh, man, this is fantastic. Um, all right. Uh, because you have to go soon, uh, Mr. Grizzly, did you have a, a question for Shauna before she goes? Uh, no, not really a question. I just want to say uh, thank you. Thank you for uh, doing this because look the patriarchy harms everyone it's bad for us too look cis het white six foot male i mean come on i get harmed by it too and i know this yeah, yeah. well i have and, a and i sit atop harmed. the white privilege pyramid right but i know this i get I it i know i get harmed 
uh, and it doesn't uh, just harm me it harms my wife it harms my nephews yes. my nieces my sisters my my mom and dad like everybody is harmed by it because the patriarchy in and of itself is a bunch of old white men controlling everything that's what it boils down Even to had a few old white women in there too but yes primarily right. old white men right primarily primarily okay, yeah. like but you know I, I do add them in because of in my mind they're holding up they're propping up they're not more yeah. dangerous problematic yeah. So yeah. uh, they're definitely on our radar. But um, again, I, I, I'm not a fighter um, mm -hmm. and I'm here to support my, my, my fellow sisters across this country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I saw, I saw something online today. I'm just going to drop this in real quick where a billionaire tried to say this new corp capital gains tax is really dividing Canadians. And I thought, shut your pie hole. Thank You're you. the problem. You are the problem. Yeah, it's always the people in the one percent who are saying that this divides Canadians. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder yeah. why. Do you have a motive? Here, here, look, look, just surviving the table scraps I give you. I'm like, no, 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 no. We're sick of this crap. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps and pay your damn taxes. Thank you. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> you have my um, vote, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't. I can't run for political office. Too many people have seen me naked. <laughs> <laughs> That's never stopped anybody else. Apparently, you know you're right criminal. about that. You can be a criminal and run for office. So hey, Paul, what's yeah. a little nakedness? Uh, well, and here's the thing: I do know, I do recognize that something somebody said not too long ago said, you know, these kids, the way they start doing these OnlyFans and they're making it, and it goes, how are they ever gonna? And I'm like, when everyone has done it, everyone will accept it. The vast majority of people would be. They're like, when I was young, they didn't have digital cameras. Thank goodness, because the things I did, but now these kids film it and put it on, on the internet. I'm like, yeah. And when they've all done it, they've all committed the same, I don't know, for want of a better term, sins, if you will. Everybody's guilty. So everybody's going to go, yeah, so what? So, so what? So they had an OnlyFans to, to get themselves through college and feed themselves. And, and look at the money they made. They took care of their family with it. Or, you know, that. The younger generation is much less judgmental when it comes to things like that. So I hear what you're saying. Yeah. So people have seen me naked. So what? Yeah. I don't have an OnlyFans. It's not that kind. It's nothing like might that. might vote for you because of that. Just saying. <laughs> it's nothing like that. Not that there's anything wrong with it. <laughs> I've done tasteful nudes uh, modeling for photographer friends who needed stuff for their portfolios. That's it. You got to do yeah. what you got to do. Yeah. yeah, well, I did it for free. I thought it was. A, I thought it was a laugh. You know, yeah. Let's do this. This will be fun. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's like those things where they say it's a family event. Yes, but what kind of family? Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, Shana, uh, thank you. We don't want to keep you because I, I know we, we're cutting you uh, short on time here. Uh, thank you so much for making some time because it was last minute uh, so that you can come and uh, chat with us. Uh, uh, if you do have to go. Uh, we won't, we won't hold you. Uh, we'll, we'll do the, egg, uh, the, the extra for our show, but, uh, we want to wish you all the success. Um, please let us know how it, uh, turned out, uh, cause we would like to report back to our audience as well. By all means. I mean, there might be a future podcast with the, <laughs> the other end oh, of yeah. it. Who knows? Oh, hey. What excitement we're going to have across the country. So, but I want to thank you both again for reaching out. Um, it's welcome. important that our voices are heard and amplified. Yep. And uh, and and Monday will be very very loud. So well, it, and this is this is one of the, the the key foundations of this platform is we want to give voice to the voiceless. Yes, yeah. and and to yes. Canadians who make us proud. And that too. Yes, yes. It's, a, it's a regular feature that we have here with Canadians who make us proud, and uh, everybody who is doing this are Canadians who make us proud. You don't have to be a celebrity or an athlete. You nope. don't have to win a Nobel or win nope. a big prize. You just, uh, as we saw on the show, democracy is something that you do, and you are rolling up your sleeves and you are getting it done, and it work. is benefiting everyone. So um, we salute you. Can I just have a cup of coffee? Sorry, sorry, I hit a button by accident. My apologies. Mar Marge wants a cup of coffee. That's all I heard. <laughs> yeah, and we better go get it for her. Australia. <laughs> Australia <laughs> for, I'd like just a cup of coffee. Beer it is. Coffee, beer. <laughs> it was an accident. I did not mean to do that. My apologies. All I'm saying is that if Marge wants coffee, I'm going to fetch it for her because Marge yeah. will probably be marching. 
(laughs) She's got stuff to do. (laughs) We'll lead the march, actually. Uh, Shauna, thank you so much. Uh, We are uh, putting all our good vibes and all our good energy behind you for an absolutely successful and fantastic event where you are in Vancouver. And uh, let's just be loud. Make some noise. We will. We will. What is it? What is it? Our friend Holly says, get out there and pardon my language, but fuck shit up. Get into some good there trouble. Might be on a few signs too. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Okay. You got it. Take care. You take too. Bye bye. Ah, fantastic. Awesome. Uh, yes. Uh, for kids and cubs who, who are uh, interested in participating in the watch, uh, from what I can see on their website, if you are in Vancouver, Victoria, Nanaimo, Cranbrook, Kamloops, Prince George, Stewart, or 100 Mile House in British Columbia, there's a walk for you. If you're in Calgary, Edmonton, Grand Prairie, or Lethbridge in Alberta, there's a walk for you. If you're in Saskatchewan, in Saskatoon, there's a walk for you. In Winnipeg, there's a walk for you. In Niagara, Toronto, Ottawa, Belleville, Kingston, Windsor, Hamilton, Barrie, Peterborough, Guelph, Kitchener, Sarnia, Oshawa, Sudbury, there's a walk for you. Uh, We don't see anything for Quebec and Newfoundland on the website. Uh, So you might want to check on the Facebook page to see if things have been updated. If you're in Nova Scotia, Halifax, Yarmouth, there's a walk for you. And if there is nothing in Newfoundland, Quebec, nothing stops you from starting one at the last minute or walking in sympathy. Just get on it. Like I said, they just decided they were going to do it one day and they did. You can too. New Brunswick, St. John, Fredericton, there's a walk for you. So if you're in Moncton or Bathurst, do something. Get out Why not in your own community? And uh, it says uh, there was supposed to be one in Yellowknife with an event link to come that's not uh, yet activated on the site. But hey, way up north even. Why not walk? So the website is womensstrikecanada.ca. Please go there to find some information on what may be going on in your area. That's very important. And as we mentioned, the GoFundMe uh, because they're, they have a goal of $700 that they're trying to raise. They've got 215 raised so far. So it won't take much to get them to their goal. So if you can help, please do. GoFundMe.com slash F slash Women's hyphen Strike hyphen Canada. And that's where awesome. you can make your donation there. All right. Uh, Mr. Grizzly, do we have a show? I think we do, sir. Uh, I think we do. And I think, it, it, I think we had a... Um both an informative and an enlightening show and, mm-hmm. and letting people know, because I'm sure there's some folks who watch this who didn't know this was taking place. I did know about it because I've been, you know, I follow a million fees trying to keep on top of things. Right. And, and sometimes it's hard when, 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 you have, when you're bombarded by a million feeds, it's hard to keep on top of everything all the time. But I was well aware of it. And now we're able to help um, our kids and cubs become aware of this too for those who may not have known about it may not have known about it. And mm-hmm. and now they can help spread the word. Yep. And we say may not know about it because may not kids know. tend to be rather engaged. So pretty engaged. I, I would yeah. be so su- I, I would be surprised if most of them did not already know about it. Correct. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. Agreed. But Agreed. for those who didn't and, and for those who know about it, maybe didn't know that there was an event where you are. There you go. And now you do. So there you go. All right, kids and cubs, that's the end of this episode of the Daily Beaver Morning Show. We hope that you love listening to us because we loved making this for you. Remember, sharing is caring and word of mouth is priceless. So please tell your peeps and poops all about this, especially this, because this is very important because it's for everyone. It'll make everyone's life better in the end. Yes, Um, it will. Yes, indeed. If you would like to support us, for example, by making sure you don't miss an episode, well, you don't have to. Thanks to the Ray Girl, who sponsored our pod page. You go to podpage.com slash the true north eager beaver, lowercase letters with a hyphen between each one of those words. Or you can scan that QR code that just appeared under my chin if you're watching, and that will bring you to our pod page. And if you click subscribe there, when we have something fresh off the bandwidth, it comes directly to you. If you would like to support us in other ways, if Kit Elaine were here, she'd say, have an awesome day, everyone. And make sure to smash that button before you leave. And you could do that by going to the True North Eager Beaver Media Incorporated YouTube page where we have like, share, subscribe, three buttons for you to lick. If you happen to have a cowboy like Kit Cassie, lick it in front of him. He doesn't seem to object. I don't, I don't, I just, know I, I, I don't even know what this is. I'm inspired by our kids. 
Okay. Sure. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, you kids and cubs are doing absolutely wonderful for us on our uh, YouTube page. Uh, we are now over 2,600. So uh, it is looking quite likely that uh, the 3,000 may be hit for, uh, by Canada Day. And uh, that's all of you. So uh, thank you so much. We're very, very, very grateful. Uh, for all the support. If you would like to support us in other ways, please make sure that you go to our coffee page. The QR code by Mr. Grizzly's head right there will bring you right there. Or if you're listening, coffee, ko-fi.com slash eagerbeaver, lowercase letters, all in one word. And you will find the emergency hydration fund where you can leave us a little something if you would like to support us and encourage us to do more. Uh, as haves, uh, as, sorry, as have Kid Vim, who uh, mentioned, uh, left us a little something yesterday and said, thank you for another fabulous podcast. I am so happy I discovered the damn fam. Everyone truly cares about each other. It's priceless. And it's thanks to you. And it's thanks to you. Because we just created the space. You are the guys that make the magic happen within it. We created the space. You built the community. Exactly. And uh, Kit Suzanne, who uh, wrote us today uh, saying... um, that she had heard um, on our podcast uh, about uh, the, how YouTube was helping us to monetize. And uh, she said, hey, well, I, I, I watch you, but I watch you here. Like this, and I don't think that that helps you. So how can I find your YouTube feeds so I can watch you there, so I can help you? Uh, so uh, we directed her to where you need to go because if you go to our YouTube page and you just click the video tab, that's... The video tab is our episodes uh, about a day late or when we rebroadcast them, late. or a few days yeah. late when we rebroadcast them at noon. Usually, the next day or a little later. Yes. But what we do in the morning, that's there as soon as we record it, remains there, is under the video tab. Live, so if you, no, the, the live, live tab. tab. Sorry. So if you click the live tab and not the video tab, then you'll find everything. You also find our pubcasts there and all that kind of stuff. So always make sure to go to the live tab. But. Uh, So she agreed that she would go there to help us. Nice. And then afterwards, sent us something on coffee as well. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for honest, thoughtful, and real news offerings for your humane and down-to-earth approach that makes us feel like friends and for creating an inclusive and supportive community. I love you guys. Well, uh, this this is what we want is to build community of of individuals who um, are kind, caring, will not tolerate intolerance. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's Don't very suffer fools lightly. Very important. And accepting. Accepting of everybody. It's you know, let's 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 make Canada the dream that Pierre Trudeau told us it was meant to be. Now maybe you have issues with Pierre Trudeau. But But you don't have issues with the dream. You don't have issues with the dream. Canada is a dream. A dream may never be fully realized, but we can work towards that every single day. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I have to concur. Because democracy is something that you do, kids. There's all the stuff that we usually say. But today, since everyone's invited with a big red heart, why not make a plan for June 24th to make sure that you find where the walk is in your region and you go and walk there? Or if there's no walk in your region, remember, wear some red that day in support Make a little donation to the GoFundMe. Pay attention to what's going on on the web that day. Participate in the discussion. Right? We need you to get involved. Remember, democracy is not a spectator sport. From the Beaver Lodge, this is your eager beaver saying, it could be a tough world out there, so please be kind to and gentle with yourself. Mr. Grizzly, some words of wisdom, please. Well, uh, hmm. you know, here's the thing. We need more of this. Hmm. We need a lot more of this. People getting involved. Mm -hmm. Uh, You can call it grassroots. You can call it community-minded. You can call it whatever you want. But you can put the social media to good work, to do good things, like Shauna and thousands of other Canadians and Americans and other women around the world are doing. You can put, you can use social media for good. It's been done. And that's what it should continue to be for is, sharing your community and doing good things for your community. I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the pandemic destroyed a lot of community 
and a lot of mm-hmm. community good feelings and good spirit and good good neighbors. And I think a lot of that was destroyed due to isolation, yeah. due to uh, the amount of time people spent at home and then got into certain types of social media that skewed things a certain way. Right? Right. So let's get back to using social media to do good things for one another, to make this a better world for everybody. And remember, and this is very important, remember the cartoon I showed once years ago, a year ago, sorry, about a year ago, where it has three people sitting at a table in a room. Mm. On the left, it has a gentleman in a hard hat. On the right, it has a wealthy businessman. In the center, it has a man of color who has kind of raggedy clothes. And each one of them has a plate in front of them. And the rich businessman has a plate with a gigantic pile of cookies that if he ate them, it would probably put him into a sugar coma. The blue collar working man, well, he has two or three cookies, I think. Is it two or three? Let's see. Actually, you have it on the screen here. Oh, and uh, Sorry, there you go. Uh, let's, let's pull us down so we can see that yep. better. I'll, I'll turn our cameras off. Yeah, so it's one cookie one that cookie. the blue collar uh, gentleman has. Sorry, I mixed it up right and left, but you know what I meant. Yep. Uh, and, and, and he's the rich businessman with the plate of cookies, the gigantic plate of cookies, points to his man, points to the man on his right, saying, Careful, that foreigner wants your cookie, while looking at the blue collar working man with one cookie on his plate. And this is what they do. They want to divide us. And as evidenced by what I told you earlier in this podcast about how somebody said, this capital gains tax is justified in Canadians. I'm not going to quote who he is. Mm -hmm. But if you follow my Twitter field, you'll be able to find out real easily. Mm -hmm. He lives here in Ottawa and he's worth about a billion dollars. Now remember in that image, right? The rich man's looking at the white dude yeah. His blue collar and pointing at the foreigner and mm-hmm. saying, he wants your cookie. The next frame of that cartoon could be the blue collar worker and the foreigner pulling their energies together to make sure they both get more cookies. Exactly. And that's why you, they try to divide like, us so that we don't work together. You have more than enough cookies. He has none. I have one. I want some, and he wants some, and you're going to give them to us. Oh, you don't think so? We're just going to tax you until you give your your share to us. There are two of us and one of you. You have too much. I have not enough. He has nothing. We're going to work together to make sure you share. We're not saying we have to take a... We're not saying we're taking a third. That's not what we're saying. But you're going to share. Because you have too damn much. Bingo. All right. Kids and cups. It could be a tough world out there. Please be kind to and gentle with yourself. Mr. Grizzly, cue the cock. You are listening to a True North Eager Beaver Media Incorporated podcast. The True North Eager Beaver podcasts are proudly brought to you by our founding sponsors. The Misfee Mysteries from Corvid Moon Publishing, your source for science fiction, fantasy, and cozy mysteries featuring a broad diversity of characters. CanadianTarot.com, their uniquely Canadian online eclectic tarot community, and The Pepper Master. Hot pepper sauce is made from farm fresh ingredients to thrill your taste buds and expand your mind. We are grateful to the Cryer Media Network for its support, Pete Jarvis for our artwork, and Paul Joseph something for our opening and closing sequence music. All right, kids and cubs. Um, not exactly sure what's happening for Friday yet because um, tonight, Thursday night, I am going to be at the 30th anniversary of the release of Sarah McLaughlin's 
wonderful album, Fumbling Towards Ecstasy. She has a big concert going on, big tour. So I'll be there with Kit Hugh and my friend Aaron. Um, so uh, I will be waking up in Montreal Friday morning. Not sure if we'll broadcast live from there, or if we'll be able to have another pre-record for you, or it might be the first day we don't have a show. Uh, could be, I, so. like, worst case scenario, I can go live for 20 minutes or something just to, just to give everybody a briefing and let mm -hmm. them know. You can send me some photos that I could show from the concert, that sort of thing, if, if you know, if if I can. Um, but, uh, but okay. So we will have something Friday one way or the other. That one way or the other. All right. Bye. bye. Oh, um, Oh, something that just occurred to me. Yes. The, the, the very possible reason that there, that, that, that there's no March in the province of Quebec on Monday. Nobody's speaking French to organize it. Saint Jean Baptiste. Oh, yes. Saint Jean Baptiste. It's, it's yes. a massive holiday. Yes, everybody's pretty much yeah. busy then already, and there's already parades and yeah. marches and stuff. Exactly. Like, yes, yes, La Saint Jean, yeah. of course. Yeah. Makes Saint Jean sense. Baptiste. Makes so Sunday night, sense. Sunday night in Montreal is going to be a zoo. <laughs> yep, that makes total sense. Yeah. Like listen, there'll be huge concerts and block parties yeah. and stuff like that on Saturday. Monday's and, Monday's the holiday, yeah. but Sunday will be a big party yeah. night because Monday's a holiday. So. Yep, yeah. indeed, indeed. All right, good to know. I had forgotten about that. No worries, brother. All right, got you back. I'll see you. I know you do. <laughs>